Oxygen has been detected in the atmosphere of Venus. German astrophysicists made the first observation of oxygen atoms in the atmosphere of Venus, on its day side. Oxygen has previously been observed on the neighboring planet's night side, but new research shows it is much more widespread. These discoveries could potentially help better understand the differences between the atmospheres of Venus and Earth and support future missions to Earth's twin. In previous observations, researchers detected the presence of atomic oxygen in the atmosphere on the dark side of Venus, where it emits a faint glow. But so far it has not been observed on the sunny side. Until now, German scientists reviewed data collected by the SOFIA, Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, Observatory. They focused on 17 points in the planet's upper atmosphere. They found evidence of atomic oxygen in all of them. This is the first detection of oxygen in atomic form on the day side of Venus. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Nature Communications. Earth and Venus are rocky planets with approximately the same size and rock chemistry. For this reason, Venus is often called, Earth's twin, or, Earth's sister. However, that's where the similarities end. Just exploring the surface of Venus is extremely difficult. The planet's atmosphere does not resemble Earth's at all. It is not only thick, but also extremely toxic, resulting in frequent rainfall of sulfuric acid. What's more, the temperature on the surface reaches an incredible level of almost 500 degrees Celsius. The pressure there is 92 times greater than on our planet, and the atmosphere is 96% thick consists of carbon dioxide, even landers have problems surviving in these extreme conditions. But, as researchers point out, this was not always the case. With a similar size and composition to our planet, Venus may have once been much more similar to Earth. Planetary scientists have long suspected that an atomic form of oxygen exists in the atmosphere of Venus on both the day and night sides. Although high levels of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide have been measured in the planet's atmosphere, finding evidence of atomic oxygen has proven more difficult because of its reactivity. It tends to quickly bond with other elements it encounters. Recent analyzes of data collected by the now decommissioned SOFIA telescope indicate the presence of atomic oxygen in the atmosphere of Venus marking the first direct detection in the planet's daytime hemisphere. The newly published research not only shows that oxygen is much more abundant on Venus, but also provides some insight into the processes that create and distribute it. On Earth, atomic oxygen is formed at high altitudes by the photodissociation of molecular oxygen under the influence of photons. A similar process is probably taking place on Venus. Scientists suggest that oxygen is created when sunlight breaks down carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide molecules. According to them, these atoms get to the dark side of the planet thanks to strong winds in the atmosphere of Venus. Venus rotates so slowly, its day is longer than a year, that its high-altitude winds move faster than the planet's rotation. On the dark side of the planet, oxygen atoms likely combine to form molecular oxygen and react with other elements as well. Despite this redistribution, the density of oxygen is up to five times greater in the atmosphere during the day than at night. The research team also suggests that atomic oxygen is present in large enough quantities to play an important role in Venus' atmosphere and likely has a cooling effect on the planet. As scientists point out, when individual oxygen atoms collide with other molecules, such as carbon dioxide, energy is transferred to the molecule and then radiated out. The result is a cooling of Venus' upper atmosphere.
Without this process, the hottest planet in the solar system would be even hotter. Atomic oxygen is concentrated at an altitude of about 100 kilometers. The Earth's atmosphere is very thin at this altitude. An altitude of 100 kilometers is often considered to be the limit from which space begins. But Venus' atmosphere is much denser. The detection of atomic oxygen in Venus' atmosphere will provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study atmospheric changes, especially in the region where atomic oxygen is most abundant. The region 90 to 120 kilometers above the planet's surface. This region is important because it serves as a transition zone between the two dominant atmospheric circulation patterns.